Hello. In this video, I want to look on how we can make money with AI generated art. As example, we're going to use it majority of mid journey. It's what I'm using, but we also look on DALI 2 and we look also on um, Disco Diffusion. If you have your notebooks and other ones running with this and in general, just how we can sell this. We'll find also look on what um, distinguish this AI generated from maybe computer graphics or other images you've done. There's, what is different between you actually take digital photos and sell and versus AI? So we'll look on this one and we'll look a little bit on a copyright. We'll look on um, also where to sell, what market to sell. And it's based on my personal experience. And as speak about this, this video, it's in no way is a legal advice. Okay, I'm not qualified to be a lawyer. All what is based on my personal research. Um, you probably can do same if you spend weeks or so just go around researching and find some information. It just hopefully this video will save for you this time and uh, help you to go in right places and just overall overview how we can do this. All my information and what I was showing websites and everything links will provide below to all these resources where I took it as well. Some of them pop up on the top. If I will recommend some of my videos preview, like, for example, if you have questions, how does AI work? I have several interesting videos about how to work with mid journey, how use it text to image strings, prompts, how the actual processing, how disk diffusion work and so on. So that will be pop up on the top. And like I'll say before in description, you can find links to all other information. So before uh, we are going to the how to sell, let's first define and it will help us also understand difference between computer generated AI and different rendering with that will we do inside the, our computer. And first, of course, I want to look on different applications. Example, for a long time, for, I'm using like Vue application or Cinema 4D or anyone to create digital environments. And those digital environments they created for movies, TV shows, posters, still image, and so on. And actually, what it does involve, it is for me physically open application, modeling application, for example, and create some models inside export, put a texture, so on. It's a physical my involvement to create it, that digital environment that is a render as virtual environment and can use it in other ones. So notice what I mentioned. It is me physically working with, uh, well, move my mouse and keyboard, <laughs> but what I was meaning to work with the environment to creating this other stuff. So the next things what we can say it is what about um, and this is, for example, like models where you can create all the stuff. But here's another example. So right here, I mentioned before, taken physically, I just position some models, all the subject. But that image is created, for example, I did with Filter Forge. And a Filter Forge is application that allowed me to um, predefine some parameters and other things, and it will create it for me. However, if we look like this example, Filter Forge applications and uh, let's look on the Nebula, for example, right here. Doesn't matter anyone we can open and you can see we can create image and usually it's a pre-created. I did not do nothing. Um, just click and it's creating for me. However, to create this filter or anything, we actually can look how it's work and you can see it's a node based, but it does involve person to go inside creating all these nodes, put them together, connect it and tell computer how to generate. So it does generate it, but it generated by the prompt of the user. OK, so but let's look at the next things right here. It is a fractal generated art. So and it's called digital art, but whatever it is, fractal generated images. They actually be different. I cannot physically going and move around all these elements. However, I can go in applications specifically, for example, this Chaotica applications. It's a fractal based where I can say, hey, I want based on uh, this fractal. It's creating generating for me. I have some options, modify colors, vectors, positions and so on, which is re-render. 
Um, but this is computer generated, so I don't directly involve with creating image. However, I'm involved more with the kind of almost on level of programming, tell what the way to go on and so on. And those ones actually, the fractal based was for very long from early 90s when you used to go and set parameters and uh, ray tracing will create for you um, some 3D object if you want it or some any other object with computer generated. So it's kind of like this, but it again, it does in some ways involve me to modify it. So what does it make different with AI? With the AI generated graphics, actually you are, don't use it those parameters in this sense, but you are using your word string. So you actually make description in the words what you see. For example, we can go right here and see it's a dark soul, cryptopunk, decay style. So you're describing and AI, they actually reversing and they look up. Does it look like this? Actually, you know what? Below, I have a very good um, video. It's not very in depth, but it's simple explanation. How does it work? I will recommend for you if you're interested link is below on that uh, video to see how AI generated arc work so it will help you to understand if you're not yet know but generally it's a conversion to this and uh, that is all what you do you may have some parameters what size of image you want it orientation in some cases you know and so on but general you allow to AI to create whatever AI thinks it should be created. And here's come up questions from this. If in other jobs I actively participated, I do all this stuff and it's definitely copyrighted to me when I create this, why does AI generate image? It's not copyrighted. And yes, it is not copyrighted if you do not know about this. So no copyright, it's meaning anybody can use it however they want it okay even it's have it in some and we'll look on some licensing and other agreements so on it's a service mostly agreements but technically it's not copyrighted and uh, if you're interested about this i'll put a link to this article where they're going over u.s copyright rule because they try to actually several times and latest was just recently they tried to apply in u.s to make AI artwork generated, copyrighted, and they come up with, and they try it, and it says you cannot copyright it. The some of the main reason why it cannot be copyrighted, it is uh, this as well. If monkeys spray paint, you don't copyright this, and why AI generated can copyright it? Uh, you can be agree disagree. My personal view on this. It is that should be copyrighted because he, it, they say it's no human input. However, you do put human input. You are putting your word strings. You put it your text, your prompt. And example, I published a few books, okay? And they copyrighted. You actually, some text from the book, you must use it with inscriptions or so on. So it is, you copyrighted the text already. So if I'm using text to describe machine and machine has become just a tool and a representation that is should belong the person or image when it's created with. So in some cases, I think that will change very soon because it's just start booming processing. But general, at this point, right now, when a video is recorded and all this stuff, the AI generated art is not copyrighted. So whatever you produce with this, Anybody can take, sell, use it in the work, create, copy, and so on. Just keep this in mind, and it will be very important when we start going to where to sell and how to sell. Okay, so as we speak about this, and we touch a little bit on general U.S. patent office copyrighted or copyright office, so on. What does the mid journey and Dali you know, looking on all of this stuff? So let's go ahead and look first on the mid journey because it's, it's primarily it's what I'm using and it's what we're going with to look at. So and right here, if we look on the right, 
that actually says um, technically if you subscribe to the service if you pay for this you can use it however you want it whatever you want it when you want it so it just give you full rights but it's also mentioned hey somebody else can use this well in fact actually if you look just above this you also give it the rights to the mid journey using your artwork text string and everything however they want it whatever you they want it and when they want it so just keep it in mind it's not exclusive whatever you're creating it's not exclusive you need to do something to make exclusive and we'll look again in the future how we can protect these rights if you worried about this but general right here just keep it in mind that is um copyright okay for some time with a dolly e you cannot sell your work okay you cannot use commercial use and everything um however recently they come up and they says hey uh the starting today whatever today it was it says the user have it full right to commercialize the image creating with dali e included and so on so it's meaning they have the same rights and a partial of this it was not because they're good of heart it's just because again copyright does not assign when it's uh, copyright office maybe change its mind this is maybe change as well everywhere so we don't know but for now as we speak you can always use them for copyright uh, for the work and other stuff okay now you create work we kind of understand how you can use it where and how we can sell before we jump jump to where to sell let's understand first market to whom we want to sell okay and if we look on the market what do we want to sell uh, to whom you have it several areas of the buyers okay potential buyers one potential buyer it's actually the home buyer home buyer it is people who just like like how art look and they want to put it on a wall um for those ones you can use a digital media but personally i find out that those guys is <laughs> those people mostly won't go and print they mostly want already pre-printed so they can put it on a wall okay the another ones it is what they call trof trophy hunters or collectors as well they can be partial they will put nft some people there because most nft people who are buying currently a majority of them it just uh, like crypto money they're just making the investment currently and hopefully someday it will pay off so you have those one collectors who are um, going for the value of the product and treat this renders that maybe work in the future i can make more money another actual very big market surprisingly and few people look on this it is interior designers it's then when you go in a hotel you go somewhere you see on the wall those pictures you see somewhere and those pictures that people look around or maybe in a house they help design the print they frame them they put it so interior designers who look it is another ones the other ones it is artist another artist for example book covers okay um you want some illustrations in magazines illustration is books uh, album covers posters movie posters event posters any of this type this is another um, solid area where kind of audience who need this of course now come up with new with uh, because it's not just a random it's also kind of with predictability you can do and many of them start using for illustration of the stories like comic books or other or just children books anything you can use it as illustration and it's actually work very well in these cases and one another ones that is specific category i put away because we can speak about this it's called fan art and a fan art is very close like this one look Stallone yep still versus Stallone so you kind of start stepping on some um, areas and fan art is very interesting because you could sell but be careful because some like uh, maybe come after you like in middle night you wake up and you see Mickey Mouse with a knife over you so Disney does not like that some other people are very going after so it's kind of need to be careful about this but fan art can be also um, big areas 
Okay, so we kind of define all those areas that again, home buyers, collectors and trophies, NFTs, interior designers, uh, another artists could be from concept art to book, album, album covers, posters and fan art. So those is categories. Again, this is all my personal kind of separations. Some people may have it a little bit different, but these categories is work for me well. Okay. So now we have it all defined where we can sell them. And of course, first what's jumping ahead, it is, hey, they have it online stores like maybe Printify, SmackMag, uh, Shopify, some other ones where in plenty, I mean, it's like tons of them, okay, everywhere. I think even on Google, you can set up and on uh, YouTube, you can stop as your channel, uh, some art and print. So this is first things jump in. Okay, how about if I set up digital store and sell there and this is probably first smart way to do it because it's easiest it is does not require so much input from you it just staying there and selling and you can do this on multiple areas you can do this uh how say many 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 different platforms it's probably take hours just to go over different ones find what you like it here's come up one big problem when you do there it is you if you want to do it, first off do right now and main reason it's market saturation so when i was saying by market saturations it's meaning you saw how easy to produce for example in just a month i produced over six thousand uh renders ai a couple three hundred actually very decent and sellable from the preview of artwork so if I put there, it's just one person. You have it. You have tens, hundreds, thousands of people who do this. So market will be oversaturated with this. So with images, with over overload. So you will have a lot of very decent competitions going all over places. So it doesn't mean you can sell on this. You can go to even um, areas like some stock, iStock, Adobe Stock, any other stock if you want. You can sell prints. You can sell as a clip art and so on. So you can try those markets. How I say they are will be oversaturated and actually tell you true um, uh, stock photography, it is oversaturated with digital uh, images become so easy to do with other stuff. It is real, very oversaturated and it will be a lot of more coming with AI generated. So I already see a bunch of AI generated images here for sale. It doesn't mean you won't find the buyer, but just keep in mind that um, succeed, you will need to use a special strategy. You need to use it right uh, marketing and so approach, but this video not about how to do this. This is general. This is a first probably step to do. It's an easy step to do and it will be, uh, but not necessarily most successful step to do. Again, sell as a printable in a store, digital media, and sell as maybe stock images and so on. Keep it in mind that this will target specific audience. Okay, this is will going towards more as the another artists that may use it for um, album covers, books, and so on. The other artists use will sell. Home buyers usually won't go here. From my personal experience, speaking with people, research, and I've done this for 20, 30 years, um, that home buyers usually buy at art shows, live art shows, um, and some areas. So they actually like the physical idea of physical copy. For example, I did before several times, and I done photography with a fan photography done on events photography and uh, speak about this was very interesting because I sell it was like photo booth okay and in the photo booth I have it people come I take photos they out and it's a huge event with thousands thousand peoples like comic cons fan cons uh, steampunk com and so on um, and uh, almost nobody got digital prints but we have a printer there that is was printing small digital photos and almost everyone bought them. Okay. So they want actually physical copy. This is just example on photography with digital media. Same things. If you're going somewhere to sell, if your target is home buyers, 
um, or fan art, then you need to look actually on physically printing and sell physical copy. That is will make um, also another in the end, we'll look over some copyrights and all the stuff, but general it's what you want. You want a physical copy, okay? Physical print. Um, so this is another way to sell. Let's look on an X, and I kind of covered it before, just mentioned it is um, collectors, trophy hunters, and NFT. So as NFT, it's one probably the easiest you can start. Most popular, you have it open C. Um, you also can go to the crypto or some other services. And actually I use it both of them. I set up and if we're going like, for example, to collections, you can see I have some collections already created, set some NFT on them. Um, problem with NFT, it is a uh, lottery. So what I was meaning, uh, personally, I don't think at this stage NFT is worth it. Um, I don't sell any. Honestly, I put a lot of different works, different tried, different things. And it is like based a lot of on popularity. Okay. If somebody think it's trended, they will start buying. But again, as I said before, because easy of producing, easy of creation, the market will be oversaturated. So it's meaning I can put with one line and have a different things. Like for example, I did this, um, have monster foods okay and i created a bunch of them they're beautiful i need actually put it more here but general it is a lot of them people say oh, it's cool but they're not buying because again remember they want to be sure that it's sellable because majority of what i find currently nfts work it's a treat as a currency as digital currency non-fungible currency so it's meaning if you're trendy, you're in luck, you can get a bigger money here, but it's way less chance, much, 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 much less chance than you're going on a stock photos or printable and so on and try to sell there. So it is one of this reason. However, what is a big plus about NFT that when you mint NFT, this is assigned specific key and other ones. So it's meaning it's kind of locked to you, but be careful about this because like this burger and it's untouched and I will speak about touching a little bit later. Um, it's meaning anybody can go and create NFT from this image. Why? Because it's not copyrighted. Okay. Because anybody can take this image, make their own NFT and it will be fine. You know what I mean? It is um, no problems will be bad from copyright position so they can create it um, but in some cases if you have a personal art like for example uh, let's go back to my nft like i want copyrighted some of this and i created uh, i hope somebody will buy ever for this price very unlikely but i created just so it's copyrighted to me and tell you true i created a bunch of digital arts that people do steal it they do print it, they actually print it and put it in a physical gallery. Some was in Arizona and another ones which I need contact. I did spend some time to ask to remove it and I need to prove it that it was my art. I need to prove it, all that stuff. So it will take some time and all those things, you know, and tell you true, most of the trouble never pay back. You know, um, in some case I heard my photography was taken by MTVs and they just removed, they don't pay the compensation. It's, it's a long story. We won't go in this, but general, um, it is hard to approve it. And NFT helped me to lock specific images to my name because when it was minted, it's all trackable. On this case, if something happened, I can show and says, Hey, this is this, it's mine. And please take care of on, um, copying. But again, this is unique this one is taken with photography they composite inside the photoshop so it's not generated and it's why okay so this is nft and nft you can try it you can create it my suggestions you can use the crypto.com because it's free um with open c you will need initially maybe about five hundred dollars to create first after this it will become free so it's it's first initial investment if you want it 
and you can try it who knows you know it's you may succeed it maybe you will be unlucky and somebody pay you 25 million dollars for your one art so it's best way uh, what I say, don't put all eggs in one basket. So spread, you know, just try different, see which one take it all. Okay, so we'll spoke about this one. Now let's speak about interior designers. As we spoke, where do you need sale? Those ones will actually going most time and print it. And they will print images uh, from different areas. One of them, which I recommend you to create if you can, it is Atsuki Store. As example, you can go right here and you can see they have a specific the art print, uh, printable art and so on. So you can put it right there and uh, base it on popularity. Again, everything on marketing, you may succeed it. Again, we'll hit it same, same things. It's a market saturation, but this is more in individuals. You can always try to go with a Pinterest and other things and repoint, but because so many people can do this, um, something similar, that will be very, very hard. For example, some of this painting I see right here, it is uh, printable and most likely it was generated by AI already. If not, I'll give you a month and it will be all over place here. Because if you watch this video, it will be ridiculous not to open your store and try to sell. At least it's what I'm doing right now, opening store and sell my stuff. Because it does not require any investment, just only time. And it's potentially can give you a solid monthly income. Okay, so we spoke about this. Next, we can sell, it is mentioned, books, album covers and posters. So those ones you need to go on specific areas to sell. And let's look like example, book covers. Okay. Uh, majority your hardest problem, it is to find right clients. So it's meaning you need to go on specific places to find them. One, I would recommend, and it's more than one place like this. It's the reason why I kind of recommend if you can try it. Like for example, if you go on a Facebook, they have it even book cover design marketplace, okay, group. They have it more than one. They have tons of different ones. But as an example, people going right here, they put it and I'm sorry, but uh, most of what I see, it's very crappy book covers. Some of them actually is not bad, but majority this way. And if you're going and you put a book cover generated with AI, you, you will just literally kill with the designs because some of them are so primitive they're done in this, but they're sellable. And after we'll look, amount of time you spend in everything you created, you actually can create so fast amount of the people they will create, they will like it. Why the authors won't use it? Most likely, they don't have the experience and it's much cheaper to pay 100 bucks or 200 or whatever the right here is here right there any cover 100 dollars that it's easy for them to pay then um, just go and create by themselves spend time the one thing keep it in mind what i do recommend for you is getting some of these fonts that you can use it some styles of the fonts and so you can create titles because when you try to sell here, be sure you um, have a titles because it's more a kind of adjustment. I have a lot of notifications come up. So where do you take the phones? There's plenty of other places. Example, like Invanto Elements, monthly subscription, you can have it. And you can see right here, a lot of add-on fonts, styles. They can see same as the fonts, very, very easy, inexpensive to use. You can go ahead use it add-on if you're familiar with Photoshop and create font. Um, this is also bring to another point why other people cannot use same image. They kind of can, but here's the things that, uh, how we can protect as well. If you create modification, enough modification to your image, then is derivative work, which is copyrighted. So what is meaning? I can take background and I can create the art that my AI generated art part of this. This is example, uh, compositing, it's overlay compositing, but you can see elements from AI generated, okay, or another ones with AI generated elements in this. And because it's using photography, it's using other elements that is become copyrighted to me. I'm using elements 
of the AI generated. Same with the book. If you're putting there, you put a text over it or other elements. So you are kind of looking and people not necessarily can just copyright. For example, if somebody take this image and try to resell, I can go after it because it is copyrighted. It's got my elements of this. Even I'm using copyright free background but it is part of this however they could take the background maybe not this specific because it's modified but other ones and reuse it as well so again let me a disclaimer if you have it more legal questions ask the lawyer i'm not a lawyer i'm just a artist who created and who did uh, some research on images and have some experience we're going after people who took my work and try to resell or do other stuff. So this is just personal experience. It's not legal advice for you. Okay, so at this point, we look uh, areas where to sell. How is that? It's online. You can sell as a printables. You can sell as the stock images. Um, you can also create the other uh, printify you can do on the ads key store so you can sell this one another one so you can physically print copies and sell or art show fan art other areas you can also use it as a part of your digital artwork for example for creating book covers album covers posters concept art or other ones this is actually a big area so you can use it as a part of your process a workflow that is a probably the more solid and more protected area you can sell with um, you can also sell as an nft or collector's items you can do this way and of course you can create as illustrated stories you can sell as a your own story and because um, be careful with those images in illustrated stories when you create it again because they follow a copyright you need to apply some effect to this you need to apply some other elements so they become copyrighted uh, to you on this case and um, of course the other ones is you can sell on events as a fan art one other things I did not mention and you maybe will be interested in this you can use as well uh, art as uh, for your followers so if you're a digital artist that created before for example i have created many art before i have it followers like on patreon by the way you're more than welcome to follow up become membership i have it literally gigabytes of the assets 3d models and everything at the videos tutorials that i created for my followers but generally it's appreciated when people support your art but this is another thing so if you create art you can create your another like on patreon or other channels and try to through membership um have it your income creating this way so this is majority revenues i found out how you can make with digital art uh, with the ai generated because challenge was majority for me it's not copyrighted so it's meaning anybody can take it and use it for me using as a part of process for the illustrations compositing works book for the client compositing and so on that was a big part to integrate to be sure it's copyrighted and a lock if you interested is how to do your art with the mid journey how to create this i have the videos and link pop up before you can also go check them um, we are going over how to create it as well all information and links to this website that was mentioned will be below in the descriptions please check this if you like this video or if you don't like it still give it thumbs up okay help me promote this video uh, share this video watch leave it comments uh, all your support is greatly appreciated because that is another way to make money on digital art. Speak about this, put on YouTube, let YouTube monetize for me. So at least another part of the income. And I really appreciate all your support in this. And hopefully it's help you to create your revenue stream. Have it your fun. Thank you and have a good day.